George Lucas is coming back to save Disney Star Wars. That's at least the headline that you're seeing across the internet right now. And why are people talking about that? Where is this speculation coming from? It is coming from this live stream clip right here on Star Wars Theory's YouTube channel. And this is during an interview with the first lightsaber for George Lucas, the creator of that first lightsaber, Roger Christian. And during this interview, he said that George is coming back. And, of course, Star Wars Theory is like, wait, what? What What the hell are you talking about? The, the chat is going crazy. And then now all of the Internet is talking about it. And I'm going to give you my thoughts on it. But first, let's listen in when the moment happened during the live stream. And then we will discuss. He's a massive Star Wars fan of all. And I said, why would you bother doing that? It doesn't make any sense. And um, I think. By the end of the six, you know, he was so exhausted by it all um, yeah. that in the end, but I think he's coming back, you know, I'm pretty sure now that he's what? doing a series. <laughs> I think that they're now bringing him into the fold. Look at theory. <laughs> From what, what I hear, because there's a Star Wars live action series coming and I've got, I've got a strong suspicion that George will have something to do with that. That's what I thinking is, and I might be prophesying. Are you pulling my leg? No, no. <laughs> That's what I had heard and read, and, and I don't know from anything apart from I'm prophesizing <laughs> that might happen because you've seen he's been very you got theories chats going crazy right now present there. Like the he's been down like, on the sets yeah, and everything yeah. Yeah. Uh, and Dave Filoni has done such a an incredible job of being George so as you heard him say you know and look there's a couple of different ways that this can be approached when he realized how shocked theory was maybe he's like oh, oh, oh shit well that's what I've heard that's what I've read that could have been him kind of backtracking immediately. I don't think that was the case. Uh, I think that that's where he basically heard this from, was he probably watched a Mike Zero video from like two years ago or whatever, um, or read a, uh, you know, a Reddit post or something like that. I don't think that George Lucas is coming back. I truly do not believe that George is coming back. Um, do I even want George back? I mean, it's obviously I'm a fan of George Lucas and George Lucas' Star Wars, but... At this point in time, I don't even know if George coming back would mean anything simply because George is like he's up there in age. And there's way too much damage done to, to Star Wars. Like it doesn't really matter if George comes back. It's not like George has, you know, five to ten years to invest in fixing this disaster. And they wouldn't even give him the power to fix the disaster, even if he did have the time. And he wouldn't have creative control anyway, because it's still owned by Disney. I see no benefit to this whatsoever. But let me remind you that this was George Lucas talking about the situation with Disney after he had sold it to Disney. And after they rejected his sequel trilogy outline, this is what he said. They looked at the stories and they said we want to make something for the fans. So I said, all I wanted to do was tell a story of what happened. You know, it started here and it went there. And it's all about generations and it's about, you know, the issues of fathers and sons and grandfathers. And it's a family soap opera. I mean, ultimately. I mean, space, we call it space opera, but it, people don't realize it's actually a soap opera. Yeah. And it's all about family problems and that kind of, it's not about spaceships. So. They decided they didn't want to use those stories. They decided they were going to go do their own thing, and so I decided, fine. But basically, I'm not going to try to... They weren't that keen to have me involved anyway, but at the same time, I said, I'm not going to... If I get in there, I'm just going to cause trouble because they're not going to do what I want them to do. So, And, I don't have and that right there is... And I'm, we're going to listen to more of this clip too, but he's still not going to have ultimate power if he comes back. He's not going to have power have the control to do that anymore and all I would do is muck everything up so I said okay I will go my way and I'll let them go their way and it really does come down to uh, a simple rule of life which is when you break up with somebody the first rule is no phone calls 
The second rule, you don't go over to their house and drive by to see what they're doing. Yes. The third one is you don't show up at their coffee shop or the things that you're going to run it. You just say, no, gone, history, I'm moving forward. Because every time you do, and you know, we all learn this from experience, every time you do something like that, you're opening the wound again. And it just makes it harder for you. You have to put it behind you, and it's a very, very, very hard thing to do. And I would have to imagine at this point in his life, he has completely detached from this situation, and he's not coming back. That's my guess. Obviously, I have no information, no inside information. I'm, that's why I'm showing you George Lucas in his own words right here to kind of back up where I'm getting the information from, which is from George Lucas himself. Um, I see no scenario where this man would come back. And, of course, this is a video clip of uh, when he initially made the deal with Disney and um, the, the nonsense that Kathleen Kennedy had to say uh, when uh, they were pretending like this was going to carry on George Lucas's vision. Anymore. That's true, because I'm not going to do it anymore. But that doesn't mean I'm unwilling to turn it over to Kathy to do more. Mm -hmm. I have story treatments of 7, 8, and 9 and a bunch of other movies, and... And obviously we have hundreds of books and comics and everything you could possibly imagine. So, you know, I sort of moved that treasure trove of stories and various things to Kathy and, you know, I have complete confidence that she's going to take them and make great movies. And of course she did absolutely none of that. None of that! She did none of that. I'm doing this so that the films will have a longer life. And so that more fans and people can enjoy them into the future. It's a very big universe I've created, and there's a lot of stories that are sitting in there. The main thing is to protect these characters, make sure that they still continue to, to live in the way that you created them, and that the universe of Star Wars continues to grow. I just said that I would, I would back her up, and I would be there if, uh, you know, and especially help him with the, with the script and making sure the script sort of there's a lot of blank spots in the story treatment that which they rejected completely at Disney. Hopefully we can fill in and I think the incredible thing about George is, you know, this is not like a series of books like Harry Potter where you've already got a template of what the stories right. might be. These are these are original stories and original ideas that come out of a world that essentially is in George's head. So the beauty of the collaboration that can continue is as we work our way through these scripts, if we're sitting and saying, hmm, you know, I wonder if, uh, if this character can do that, or does this make sense within the rules of Star Wars, that really he's the keeper of the well, flame when it comes the, to it's, that. It's the same thing with the first three films. That's all my... It used to drive me crazy listening to this woman talk and listen to her spread her lies and bullshit. It's I'm so beyond it now that it doesn't even annoy me or aggravate me. Um, Star Wars is completely ruined. It's and and this is I'm playing this so that everybody understands. This is why I've, I'm at the conclusion where it doesn't even matter if George comes back. He can't save it at this point in time anyway. Nobody can save it because of people like. Kathleen Kennedy and Bob. My Iger. job is, is to be the keeper of the flame. Well, so it's it's also it's based on human behavior, human psychology, you know, uh, mythology, which is the the uh, sort of archaeology of human behavior mm -hmm. and thinking. And since it has those motifs, it, it is very universal, and everybody can relate to it. Yes, it's, it's about it's, good and evil yeah. in in us, mm -hmm. uh, as well as our institutions. Mm -hmm. So. And the idea that some of us think we're really great people, but in the real world we're not. We're terrible people. Or you can make bad choices. Well, you make but, bad choices, but you well, run your life in a very yeah. selfish way. And George made a bad choice by selling it and giving Kathleen Kennedy complete control. Uh, that happened. And you think you're doing good when you're actually not. Um, and at the same time, it's, a, it's, you know, how do democracies turn back into dictatorships? Why do, why do people who have the power to have the freedom of everything... So, so that's kind of the gist of it right there. And again, this is why I firmly believe that there's no scenario where George actually comes back. I appreciate that there's a lot of discussion about this. I appreciate that people are excited. And this was a short that Theory uh, had uploaded. 
Um, let me see if I can move my screen. I don't like how YouTube shorts are on the screen, but here we go right here. Oh, yeah, they, they always auto-mute. Why the hell does it do that? Back, you know, I'm pretty sure now that he's what? doing a series. I think that they're now bringing him into the fold from what I hear because there's a Star Wars live action series coming and I've got I've got a strong suspicion that George will have something to do with that that's what I thinking is and I might be prophesying are you pulling I'm, my leg no no that's what I had heard and read and and I don't know from anything apart from I'm prophesizing that might happen <laughs> because you've seen he's been very physically present there he's been down on the sets yeah, yeah, and everything yeah. uh, and Dave Filoni has done such a an incredible job of being George <laughs> and bringing yeah. back everything yeah. that, that George it's, he's, it's, he's it's, I always say you know and, and Dave gets a lot of flack just as George did but he, he, he is the only sort of the closest thing we have to George there I think you, I, and I think John Favreau does a good job Dave Filoni had his chance Dave Filoni fucked it up so um again I say this as a person that was a you know big fan of Dave Filoni and still will say I appreciated um most of his Clone Wars work uh, I thought it was fantastic but um Dave Filoni is, uh, he got his chance and uh, to do live action, and it's not good. But I'm not here to rehash that discussion here. This is more about the fact that I believe there's no chance in hell that George Lucas is returning to Star Wars at all under any circumstances. And uh, it's great for discussion, and it'll be interesting to see if more comes of this. But based on the words of George Lucas, based on the actions of Disney, and based on the results that we have found since he sold his beloved Star Wars to Disney, I see no scenario where he, at this point in his life, at this age, comes back because he cannot fix what has been done. You guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you very much for checking out this video, and we will talk to you later.